and then after that, I will also talk about the black cat. But I thought I'll start with the Dalek because maybe it's a bit more difficult. Um, yes? So, um, adults molt completely in summer, and juvenile birds molt, do a partial molt in, in summer. Uh, and that includes body feathers, lesser coverts, medium coverts, although some birds can retain the juvenile medium coverts. And uh, some birds include a few inner greater coverts, but um, quite rare, rarely they include all of them. Um, but you can see that the most don't include any uh, greater coverts in the post juvenile mold, so this shows how many uh, greater coverts are usually included. So yeah, they tend to only include a few inner or not at all. Uh, and then single thresholds or tail feathers can also be included, but that doesn't happen so often. And adults are complete, so that includes the whole plumage. Uh, aging in spring, um, we can use the same criteria as in autumn, uh, although the second calendar year birds are more affected to wear um, than adults, so you would see a bigger uh, difference in uh, quality for the, yeah, the parents of the feathers if you have a second calendar year bird. Uh, and usually wool contrasts are in the wing, so we look for a contrast between post juvenile median coverts and juvenile greater coverts, but that's quite difficult to see. So then we also look uh, between greater coverts and primary coverts, which are juvenile. Um, yeah. And in adult birds, the, uh, the plumage is uniform. And in general, the best criteria to age is just to look at the whole combination of the pattern and structure of the greater coverts, the primary coverts, uh, tail feathers, and also the color of iris. Although in spring, it's you can't really use the iris because most of the second calendar bird, calendar year birds already have an adult-looking iris. Um, so now we'll go through different feather groups, and then after each one, there will be some photos, and I will ask you to tell the age of the birds in the photos. So. Yes, uh, so second calendar year, great recoveries. The pattern is quite contrasting looking. You can see um, pale tips on both sides of the, uh, of the feathers, and the black comes through through this sort of a hook. You can see like it's not a smooth edge, but it goes in and yeah, just uh, around the edge of the pale spot. Uh, also, the juvenile feathers, they are maybe of looser texture. Um, yeah, and they, are, they look kind of the same as the primary coverts. Uh, yes, um, yeah, and the black uh, in the feather comes through to this, through a wide channel, like so. Although there's, of course, some variation between birds, but in general, and juveniles look more contrasting than adult birds. Uh, and some of them can have um, some post-juvenile greater coverts. So like here, I think these inner two look molded, so they contrast to these ones. Um, yeah, in the, the way that the black comes through and the, the whole pattern is different. Um, and then in adult birds, uh, it is uh, the feathers are uh, slightly broader and the um, shape is a bit more square uh, and the pattern is less contrasting. Uh, also the bail spots uh, are often smaller and they are more diffuse and in, especially in spring, but that, I guess in spring it applies to both adults and juveniles, they tend to be paler than in autumn, So because in autumn they're more yellow and then in spring they're more whitish. Uh, and also the edge of the outer vein is less warm and it is less distinct uh, against the dark center. Um, yes, and also there is no hook that I mentioned in the uh, juvenile feathers, so it's more here, like it just goes more smoother so the black doesn't go around the pale spot. Uh, and the, um, the 
dark comes through a narrower channel than in juvenile birds, like, yeah, at the tip of the feather. Uh, yes, so now we can look at some creature coverts, and you can tell me your guess on the age of this. Jonas, what do you think? I think it's an adult bird. Okay, why do you think that? Um, because when I look at the tip, I feel like only one side is has that pale spot and it, it feels very broad mm -hmm. and it, it looks not contrasty. Very good. Yes. How about this one? This is juvenile. Mm -hmm. um. This one? to compare how the juvenile ones look against the adult ones because you can see the difference quite well um, although it's always harder when you have the bird in hand uh, and how about this one? Daniel, you want to? It's the last set of yes. because all of them are close to the map not some primary color, it's super round mm -hmm. and not contrasting like you really diffuse when you get centered to touch yes, good Okay, so then we can go to primary coverts and um, yeah, in young birds uh, the texture is more or is less dense and they are kind of loose and the edges are more frayed and they are more worn, um, although like always the difference is not <laughs> necessarily super obvious. And the um, brown edge, so that's yeah quite an important feature that you can look at. So like the brown edge on the uh, primary coverts in young birds uh, is more distinct and it doesn't reach the tip so it kind of just stops here like it doesn't go to the tip of the feather um, and the center of the feather is quite broad um, yeah as opposed to um, adult birds where the pattern is more diffuse so it goes more into the feather and it also um, can, or it reaches the tip of the feather more so than in uh, juvenile birds. And it's more grayish brown, so like a colder color as well. Um, and the primary coverts um, are going to be broader and they can be a bit more square shaped. Um, so that's like a general um, thing in most of the passerines and adults, the primary coverts are less pointy and they have broader, uh, more square uh, tips. Uh, yeah, and a better quality, more glossier. Yes. So, what's the age of these primary coverts? I can zoom in a bit. I can. Really contrasting with it. Yeah. It was across the time so you used with a inner vein that you. Yeah, did so it it's kind of like a um, broader channel also. Mm -hmm. Because it's uh, more um, distinct, the edge, so then it looks like darker as well. Yeah. Then Maybe if you show uh, Adel now on this book. Ah. Oh, yeah. Because it has a more than Adel So the outer two are children? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, the next. Would this be an adult? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. Yeah, so you can. Um, Once the adult, that's really different to the one before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can uh, go back and compare a bit. They look much nicer yeah. and like, yeah, better quality see that the pattern here like on the edge it kind of goes inwards mm -hmm. at the like it's more diffuse the pattern and then it goes up 
to the hip as well here. Like, yeah. How about this one? <laughs> it is, actually. You better do the super loose. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. then the edge is very, like, mounted and yeah. that's not. And it's very, it's a very broad header mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And like if you look at the tips, they're also like quite squared. And uh, and the brown, again, kind of reaches the tip of the header as well. But then it does look like a mm -hmm. like overall. Yeah. Like but then you also have to always have in mind that there's so much individual variation mm -hmm. that you can't just, you know, like need to, and also, I mean, you wouldn't just judge maybe by the primary colors, you would look at the whole bird yeah. itself. So, but yeah, it's uh, good to keep in mind what you look for. And the mm -hmm. last one. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the edges are very frayed and they're also like quite bleached, especially if you compare it to the previous one. Like, this is such a glossy, mm -hmm. nice look, and everything is very. But also again, looking the look, it's yeah. You can see the, the structure really good, different. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. Uh, also it's good to look. Okay. Um, next yeah. group: retrices and uh, tail feathers. So uh, in juveniles, they are more worn and narrow, and yeah, more pointed. Uh, although in spring uh, the wearer can like, give a false impression or an impression that the um, tail is more blunt than pointed because they wear off the tips of the feathers but then you want to look at the structure and they are going to be less dense and less glossy and kind of bleached paper brownish whereas in adults the tail feathers will be slightly broader and yeah more blunted but you need to be careful with that and in better condition overall. So here is one tail. What do you think? It looks quite broad and good condition. Mm -hmm. So to add. Yes. Yeah. It's actually a really nice, like still very dark and yeah. Looking okay, nice. Uh, this one? It's <laughs> quite a difference, huh? <laughs> Yes. What about this one? I mean, the tips are worn a bit. Mm -hmm. But then it looks quite dark. Kind of glossy. Do you want to compare it to the previous one? Yeah, I think it's more broad. Yeah, because you just look at how broad mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an arrow tail. And then this one here. Juvenile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, let's look at some tertials. So they have the same characteristics uh, as the other groups. They're going to be more uh, worn and bleached in juveniles and of better quality in adults. So, and also in adults, they are broader and glossier so yeah um yeah so if you look at this one do you have an like an impression of what it could be i don't know if, if you can actually see super well here but you could make a guess i think it's, it's an adult why do you think that it seems super broad and uh, very like bland. There's not much contrast in the feathers at all. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the greater coverts, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. So you can, yeah. I mean, uh, they are still quite um, like you can't see the color really well here, but it's quite brownish and a bit more bleached. But yeah, it's better than my history. Um, yeah. And then we have this one, for example. They are also more worn yeah. now compared to the adult. They are more uh, worn the tips. 
Mm. Hvad er det svært for at tage tvivl med? Så so you kan se, at I mean, difference just in the texture of the feather, also the second one is an adult, so it's like it's more dense and looks glossier. Um, yeah. Do they have more brown on the edges? Maybe bigger edges? I don't know, they didn't say. Do you similar? Yeah. Because especially the first. Or what's the question? Do they have more brown on the edge? Like the edge is bigger in the other one. Because especially the first one. Yeah, but probably maybe because they get worn off yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yes, that you can say. Mm -hmm. And then rectangular. Can you see that on the adult? What? Rectangular, like ah, mm. squarish. Yeah. 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 While it's more uh, like a lighthouse shape yeah. on the. <laughs> yeah. So like the the feather is more square in adult, in comparison to juvenile, which is more like rounded, like lighthouse. Um, what about this one? This is the adult. Mm -hmm. And the last one, what do you think? So you can like see the overall difference in both the shape and the structure of the feather, like juvenile comparison to the iris. So like I said, in spring it's not very uh, useful, but this one is a juvenile and this one is an adult bird, but you don't really use it because of exactly that, like you can't almost see anything. Um, but in autumn, it's oh. easier. Uh, so the top two are juvenile birds, although the color of the iris can develop quite quickly. So even, um, so for example, both of the top birds are October, but one still has juvenile eye and the other one has more adult type eye, so like more reddish. So then you need to combine it with other features as well. Uh, but then if you see that like olive brown eye in autumn, then you know it's a juvenile because an adult wouldn't have an eye like that. And then yeah, these red too in the bottom part.